man from Sherrard has his fingerprints on a mission making its way through space as we speak. NASA's Europa Clipper is the largest spacecraft it ever created for a planetary mission. Our Quad City Sharon Wren spoke with the man achieving his dream. One of Ramey Traub's biggest dreams is already up in space. He's playing a vital role in NASA's Europa Clipper mission, which is on its way to the largest planet in our solar system and will reach its destination sometime in 2030. Traub worked on the radiation shielding that protects the spacecraft. It encompasses all the uh, sensitive equipment and the electronics uh, that would be inside that has to be protected from the extreme pressure or vacuum of the space, cold, etc. but also the radiation of Jupiter because a lot of people don't realize that Jupiter is the second biggest producer of radiation in the whole solar system. The mission's goal is to look for signs of potential life in the deep waters covering the moon. Can't exactly say for sure, but it's believed to be around 15 to 20 miles deep, uh, probably deeper in some areas, but below that is around 100 miles uh, deep of ocean. To put that in perspective, Mariana Trench, the deepest part in the world uh, on Earth, is about seven miles. So if someone would drive from Davenport to Iowa City, and then back to Davenport, you are pretty close to the depth of the ocean that we think is there. So <laughs> it's pretty deep. <laughs> There's no return mission for the Clipper once the mission is over. So it's kind of sad at the very end of it. We we actually end up crashing uh, the uh, the orbiter. Um, it, it it won't be with us uh, forever. Uh, the plan right now is to crash into the moon of uh, Jupiter uh, Ganymede. He fondly remembers the teachers at Sherrard who nurtured his interest in space. Uh, Mr. Kovac was a huge inspiration of mine. Uh, he, was my, he was my very first science teacher. Uh, couldn't, couldn't say much uh, you know, bad things about him. He's been always there on my side, and he's, he's awesome. And then there's Barry Jackson, uh, again, the science teacher. And then there's Miss Crippen, and then there was also uh, Miss Kelly. Uh, all four of them kind of had a unique spot in my heart there at Sherrard, and they, they treated me good and kind of kept pushing. Traub's next project is fine-tuning the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, which he says will eventually replace the Hubble Space Telescope to give us even more visibility into the night sky. Sharon Wren, our Quad Cities News. Rain Traub shares his love of space with his five-year-old daughter, who he nicknamed Starshine.